Hi everybody. How is your day going? I am out and around. It's kind of like midday though, later in the morning than I normally like to get out and run errands on a hot day. And it is very hot here, once again. It's supposed to be up in like around 96, 97, but the heat index is well over 100 and it's miserable. Humidity and the heat index, yeah. <laughs> It, it gets a person down, but um, William was going to come out with me today, but he's a little bit under the weather, so he's staying inside, nice and cool and taking it easy, which is what I will be doing shortly. Um, I'm here at Publix, going to make my weekly grocery run, get a few things. Um, don't need much really, but a few things on the list for sure. And as of today, it is mandatory in my county that people wear masks when out in public. So in a way, I'm, I'm glad that's happened because a lot of people, ever since we started on the phase business, you know, even in phase one, fewer people started, stopped wearing masks out in public. Yes, the gloves were still there, but fewer people were wearing gloves and much fewer people were wearing masks. When we entered into phase two, more people stopped wearing masks out in public. And I, you know what? I don't know why they thought the precaution wasn't necessary any longer. It, it, we were moving ahead in the phases because we were taking those precautionary measures in the past. Well, now we're kind of halted. Yeah. And as a matter of fact, we're halted to the point where it has now been made mandatory that when you're out in public, everybody needs to wear a mask. I don't know what they're going to do with those people that, you know, have refused to wear a mask all along. There are those individuals, and you know what? Everybody has a right to do that, but if you don't wear a mask out in public as you're asked to, then I hope that you would stay home, you know? <laughs> um, I remember years ago, and I am thinking back to an instance that, incident that I remember on a personal level where my mother was at a hospital out in California and they did heart transplants there as well you know one of many hospitals that does but I happened to be there at that time and this is where my story is but I stayed in a facility on the hospital grounds when my mother was a patient at that hospital recuperating from a major surgery and while I was there there was one young gal now well, okay she was maybe in her 30s and she was from another state, I don't remember where anymore, but she had been there for a heart transplant. And it was just a miracle to talk to her and listen to her story and, and hear what she went through and what she was still going through. And you know what? When she had to go out in public for any reason whatsoever, she wore a mask. Now, these days, you'll hear some people say that you don't need to wear a mask in public you know it's the mask you wear a mask if you are sick yourself you know if you have the virus or sick you wear a mask to protect yourself that's very true you do wear a mask at those times especially however it is a preventative measure for you to wear a mask to prevent catching anything as well why do you think even in the hospital uh, arena the medical staff wears masks and gloves when they're in special like ICU units, you know, those type of hospital areas, so that they do not catch the germs or bring germs into the patient. I mean, it's not that they are sick themselves. It is a preventative measure that everybody should really be taking advantage of. So, yes, I'm going into the grocery store, after which yeah, Williams requested his McDonald's. <laughs> he likes those quarter pounders. So I will get him a quarter pounder for his lunch today. I think I'll go over to Arby's. That's right across the street. That's kind of a nice change for me. I think I'll do that. But for right now, I'm going into the store. And yes, I will be wearing my mask. Yes. Hope you're all having a good one out there. 
you take care and I'll be talking to you again real soon. But for right now, I'm going shopping. It's the only kind of shopping I kind of do nowadays, really. But anyway, bye for now. Hi everybody. Well, I'm back after the grocery shop. I thought I'd come back online here because I started thinking after lunch that I do enjoy watching the grocery store hauls that my friends in England and a couple in Canada, well, throughout the country really, they do grocery shop hauls and they will list out um, what they bought and how much it was per item so that it kind of gives me a good idea and I'm sure it would you too of how much certain things cost. Um, things that I would buy, I know what my price is here in Florida, but it shows me and it, it gives me an indication as to what the different prices are throughout the country and overseas as well. Because when, when my friends in England are saying that, oh, you know, they paid 30p for this or 50p for that, I think, hmm, 50p, a dollar, about a dollar, okay. And I think, boy, that was cheap, you know, <laughs> compared to what I would pay for that same item here. So, yes, I did my grocery shop. I bought a few more things than what I had on my list, but that's the way it always goes. And this is the stuff that we will use up. It's not a waste of money whatsoever. So I am bought up for groceries for the next good week, week and a half, okay? So let me turn the camera around here, show you what I got, and I'm gonna give the prices with each thing too, especially for my friends overseas that it will help give them an idea of what groceries are over here. All together though, I spent $131.72, okay? Now, that is, and I really didn't, when I look at all this, that took the stuff that I bought, I did not really buy any meat except for one item. The rest of it is vegetables, um, you know, eggs, fruit, uh, pack, canned goods, packaged goods, very little meat. But let me show you what I got, okay? Let me turn the camera around. Yes, I do like my Pepsi, and I grew up on it. My mother loved her Pepsi Cola and so more or less I grew up on it and after 60 some years of having Pepsi I still crave Pepsi every now and then and my store had a buy one get one on this uh, these size bottles so I got two six packs and it was five dollars and forty nine cents for the two of them next I got Cascade these little packs that we use in the dishwasher that was thirteen ninety nine and I did get some more Charmin. I do like the Charmin as opposed to the Angel Soft that my husband likes. So I got some Charmin TP. And this size, that's a, a six roll. They're mega rolls. And like it says there, it equals 24 packs, regular size packs. That was $9.99. And then, well, I had to get this. Little doggy snacks, marrow snacks. I don't usually buy milk bone. I buy, you know, at the dog food store and try to find a little bit healthier dog snack for Ginger. But I saw those and I thought, hmm, I wonder if she'll like them. They're $3.59. And then for my supply, my storage shelves, let me move this off here. I got a four pack of Green Giant whole kernel sweet corn. This is going back in storage. Okay. And that, along with some other canned corn that I bought a few weeks ago, will be a nice supply in my sub pantry. Okay, I don't know why. They only charged me $1.49 for that, and I'm surprised. If I would have known that, I would have bought a couple of them. That was cheap. For four cans, I think they must hit something. I think that was a mistake. Well, hmm. Anyway, and I also got some ghee. I've got a recipe, which I, I can't think of what that recipe is right now, but I put that on the grocery list for a specific reason. Never have bought it before, but I thought, okay, for the recipe, $7.79. What's missing here, too, is a bottle of Biotene mouthwash. My husband has a dry mouth and his dentist has recommended that for him. So he already grabbed the bottle and took it back to his little supply cabinet. That's $6.99. And then 
This is what I'm going to try in the dehydrator next, following directions from Nona Grace. Hope I'm saying that right. I, I say Nona, it could be Nana, Nana Grace, Nona Grace. But she takes these little salami pieces and dehydrates them. I'm going to give that a try. I have yet to make the beef jerky that I promised my husband when I got my dehydrator, so this will be kind of a start in that direction. And those little salami pieces cost $3.99. And then my husband's coffee, I am not a coffee drinker, he is, that's $7.99. And I buy these little fruit cups for him, no sugar added, he, he really shouldn't have the sugar. And they were different prices actually. The mixed fruit in front here, the cherry mixed fruit, was $2.79. The mandarin oranges with no sugar added was $2.91. Okay. The herbed, the Hunt's Italian herb was 86 cents. The diced tomatoes were $1.55. Okay, and also I have some mushrooms back here, and they are store brand. Okay, sliced mushrooms. I get the sliced as opposed to the whole because I really don't want to slice them. Dollar sixty-nine for that. Okay, so I think I covered. Now here I'm missing something here too, and it was a a can of beans, mild chili beans. Okay, my husband wants a mix of chili beans for dinner tonight. Uh, I'll show you what I'm going to mix for supper later, but I, the, I've never tried these beans before, but he wanted kind of a little mix of it, so I bought this can to try it, and it's $1.49. Okay, I think I've got everything on this side. Let's travel over here. Now, uh, let's see here, the pears. He loves his Bartlett pears, and these are the sweet gourmet pears. Okay, comes four to a pack. So they're kind of sometimes hard to find, but $4.99. The green onions, 79 cents for a bunch. The zucchini, the squash zucchini I bought, um, $2.14. It's actually $2.49 a pound. I got two of them. I'm gonna fry those up just like I did the, what did I fry up the other day? Green onions, green tomatoes. He loved the green tomatoes and he said to use the same recipe and he wants to have some zucchini next. So, okay, all right, I'll do it. Got some sweet potatoes, $1.68. A couple of um, beefsteak tomatoes. Yes, my, my tomato supply is running low. And all together, the two of them cost me $2.47. So, Glade air freshener. $1.39. Cheetos, $3. Guess they were a two for two for six, and I got one. Uh, buy color corn. Yes, the corn that we bought out here. It's upside down. It looks the same, but anyway. <laughs> buy color corn is our favorite. We ate all the corn that we bought at the farmer's market. It was delicious. We go for this um, otherwise. And this little pack of bicolor corn costs $4.99. Now, the only meat that I bought was these little chicken drummies. I've been craving drumsticks. William doesn't like them, so I got a smaller package, and I can even cut it into half for me. But the whole package is $6.10. I always buy potatoes just about every single time I go to the store just to have some on hand. $3.49 for a five pound bag. And William likes these radishes. So I bought a package. I usually, I don't normally buy them every time I go to the store, but I saw them and they looked nice and fresh. So I bought him some radishes. It was $1.99. I should make my own tea, but I don't. I buy it in the, in the jug, uh, the, the grocery store brand. And it's $2.99. Um, let's see here. Outside of that... I got eggs. Every time I go to the store, I usually buy a dozen of eggs at least. Because when we have breakfast on Sundays, we go through about half a dozen eggs. Really about five, but still. We go through a lot of eggs every week. So I try to keep um, a supply built up. 
This is a 12 count carton for $3.09. This is the rye bread that is my husband's favorite. He likes it seeded. And that is $3.99 a loaf. And then bananas, and what have I got there? I've got eight bananas. They're kind of on a you know small size, Chiquita. And they run $1.82 for what I got there. Plus for sweets, okay. This was a special, three for um, three for a dollar a piece, three for three dollars. So I got a couple of s'mores. That was a treat. Plus, yes, we are like little kids at heart. When it comes to our desserts, right now these days, we're hooked on these drumsticks. So I got a mega pack, seven dollars and ninety nine cents. And there are eight drumsticks in this pack. So that's what it was. All of these groceries. Added up to $131.72. Okay. Now I've got to get these items that need to be refrigerated or frozen in their respective places. So off I go.